Hello, this is Timothy Perfect from Two Canoes Software, and I'm excited to show you a new feature in MDS5 called Apple Silicon Restore. And it allows you to very quickly restore an Apple Silicon Mac. In fact, you have to press zero, you have to press exactly zero buttons. How is this possible? How is this, this magic, this space age technology obtained? Well, I will show you. Um, but first, let me show you kind of my setup here. Um, I have two Macs here. I got one that's uh, booted into recovery that's kind of in an unknown state. Looks like it's not in a very good state. Um, and then we have my MDS machine here. And I've got a USB-C cable. And what I'll do is I'll plug in the USB-C cable to the DFU port on both Macs, the one that's closest to the hinge. So I'll put the one on the target Mac and then one on the, uh, the controller Mac. And let me switch over to MDS and you can see um, that I have uh, three buttons here, Reboot, DF mute, DFU Mode, and Restore with Apple Configurator. So what I'll do is I'll go ahead, and first I'll show you the reboot button, reboot button. If I click Reboot, you can see the screen went dark. And it starts to boot, and I can click in DFU Mode as well, and it'll turn black, um, and it's in DFU Mode. So now I can go ahead and restore with Apple Configurator. I need to have Apple Configurator installed, of course, in the machine to be able to do it, but that's an easy download from the App Store, free download. So I'll click Restore, um, with Apple Configurator 2. And you can see down here it says restoring. And it says step two of four downloading system. So if I don't specify a custom IPSW, which is the, the, the image format for iOS and Mac OS devices, um, it will use, it'll just download the most recent system and it'll put it in a cache folder for Apple Configurator and I can click on show cached IPSWs and grab it and keep it for the future if I want. But um, I don't really, uh, so that's a, a manual way to do it. So you have one machine, you want to have kind of control over it, you have those buttons, you can go ahead and uh, put it in DFU mode and, and reboot it to take it out of DFU mode and restore it in Apple Configurator. That's great. So let me go ahead and cancel this and show you um, another feature, which is you can select a custom IPSW. So if I do this, I can select the path, but I'll leave the path here, which is right now in my downloads folder, uh, Universal Mac 13222D49 build. Um, of this IPSW. So that means I can restore an IPSW of an older Mac, uh, version of Mac OS, or maybe a beta version. So it's a wonderful thing to be able to do. And I also have this uh, checkbox that's remove Apple Configurator temporary cache. Because when it downloads and uh, keeps a lot of temporary files when it's building these images um, or restoring them, it tends to leave a lot of cruft around. So we can automatically delete them. So that allows you to do that. And it actually only happens if you don't have custom IPSW. If you're, if you're just downloading them, it will um, uh, accumulate a lot of cruft, so it's good to erase those um, as, uh, as you, if you're doing a whole bunch of them, um, especially when you're in fully automatic mode. So let me show you that. We'll use the custom IPSW, um, and then there's this automation mode where it says automatically erase and restore Mac when plugged in. So I'll click Start. Oh, let me take the cable out first. So I'll take the cable out first. Um, and Really, when it comes down, oh, it'll warn me first, the saying that this is really a dangerous thing to do because anything plugged into that DFU port on the controller Mac will be put in DFU mode and Apple Configurator will restore it. So it could be an iOS device, it could be a Mac OS device. Um, so you want to be careful and realize you don't want to go, pre you don't want to go plugging things in willy-nilly to that port. So I'll go ahead and hit uh, continue. And you can see down here it says waiting for device. So I will give it a device. So I'll plug in this in the DFU port, and then I'll plug in on this side to the DFU port, then watch down, down here. Instead of waiting for a device, it should change to a restoring MacBook Air 10.1. So it puts it in DFU mode, and then I'll use that custom IPSW. And you notice it doesn't say downloading, it just says installing system 2.2. Uh, so that'll go ahead and automatically restore that Mac to, uh, uh, with that IPSW to that setup assistant state. Then once that's completed, we can use our MDS automaton uh, right here. Let me uh, put it in full screen here. Our MDS automaton here to, uh, actually goes this way for the one, two, three buttons. If I were to plug this into the machine, it would automatically um, come up and walk through the setup assistant and get it completely set up uh, with a user account and uh, um, a user account, sorry, and uh, go to the desktop and be able to turn on screen sharing, turn on SSH, give you full remote access to it. So you can go ahead and uh, restore the machine. So you can see if we go back to MDS here, you can see that it's um, at uh, 
uh, 90%. It does take about 10 minutes to be able to restore, and then it allows you to uh, be at setup assistant and you can go from there. So um, that's, uh, that's great for a single Mac, right? So this is great if you have a one-off Mac, you wanna spend about 10 minutes, get it all set up. But what happens if you have a whole bunch of Macs and you wanna be able to restore them? Well, you can use a hub. And so I've got a couple of hubs here. First of all, I've got the Acroname one, which is a great hub because it allows you to control the DFU mode. And so we're building in support for this hub into uh, MDS to be able to automatically, whatever device you plug into here, we're going to DFU mode and then it'll restore the, um, the OS um, for whatever IPSW or the most recent one that you have. And so this is a great, great hub to be able to do that. You can do it with a more generic hub. So I got this other hub here. Um, this one has a uh, two different sections. You can, um, it has, uh, what is this? 10 USB A ports uh, times two. So I guess it's a 20 port um, high speed hub. Doesn't matter that's high speed because DFU Restore currently only goes over USB two speeds. Um, but we can do a few things to make that faster. On the back, there's it splits it in two, so we can actually have double the bandwidth we want. And so what we found is that if we plug in four Macs um, here and four Macs on the other side at do Apple Configurator, we can restore about eight, we can store eight Macs in about 32 minutes. Um, if you're using two different ports on the Mac um, and then using a, a hub that has allows you to split that bandwidth. The issue is that you can't get them into DFU mode when you plug them into the switch. So they have to be in DFU mode beforehand. So what I did, and what you can do, is you basically take the, uh, uh, let me switch to the larger screen here. So what you need to do is you need to take the, um, uh, each one of the target Macs, plug it into the controller, and put it in DFU mode. And then plug it into the hub, put the next one in, put it in DFU mode, plug it into the hub. Once you get all the devices here populated, then you just click restore and it'll automatically go ahead and restore it. In fact, we're, we're, uh, um, one of the features I'm looking at for MDS is be able, when you plug it in, it'll automatically restore, um, and not just put it in DFU mode, but just any ones that you discover, it'll go ahead and start doing it. But right now, you can just, I did this already, just put them in DFU mode um, using uh, that button that's in the interface, plug them into this switch, and then you just use Apple Configurator um, to push that image right out to it, and then once it comes back, use the automaton to go ahead and set those up. So it's a great way to very quickly uh, push out an OS to these Mac OS versions using um, whether it's a direct one-to-one -one or one-to-many. And uh, it, can, it can get, uh, you can scale it up pretty well. So um, that's what I wanted to show you. It's not pretty neat. Uh, the ability to uh, not having to do the weird keystrokes to get into DFU mode and be able to can have it programmatically controlled by MDS. Um, it is available right now in the current MDS 5 builds. Um, I think it was like uh, 5002 or something like that, or 50002 is the most recent version of, of um, version 5. Um, and you can download that from our repository from the downloads. If you just go to twocanoes.com slash MDS, uh, you'll get a link to our repository. We can download the current beta. And um, we're getting close to um, a release of MDS 5. So it's exciting to uh, get people to try and test this. Oh, we do also have uh, active community on the Mac Admin Slack. So if you go to macadmins.org, um, you can sign up for the Slack and join the MDS, the Two Canoes MDS channel, and that allows you to, to um, ask any questions and get stuff working. Um, so again, thanks for watching. Uh, Tim Perfect with Two Canoes, and make sure you check out twocanoes.com uh, for the latest information. Thank you for watching.